Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Which is more stupid? Running your face alongside a cheese grater or running LimeWire? I uh, await your answer patiently. Of course, you could say BitTorrent or any other P2P distribution system by which you may attain programs or media like music or movies somewhat illegally. And uh, I would argue that it's far, far, far more healthy for you to run your face along a cheese grater. People ask me what I do to keep myself protected from viruses. And my answer is usually, well, I don't download things from P2P networks. Keeps me uh, running completely safe and sane. Now, Ponzi, on her computer, uh, she's running AVG free. Uh, and, uh, you know, I use Clam Zav or Clam XAV on my computer. But if you're like me and you don't run an antivirus 24 hours a day on your desktop, and I know you're thinking, Chris, you're crazy. I'm like, no, I'm not. I, 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 I kind of know, you know, what to click on, what to download, and what not to download, and where to download from, and where not to download from. 99% of the nasties out there are found on these file sharing networks. They're breeding grounds. That's how you get infected. It's not because of some strange floppy disk that's floating around, you know, your home office. I don't know, when was the last time I've even seen a floppy disk? Any old way, if you've got a file that you want to scan and you want to make sure that there's no viruses in that file, whether it's a zip file or an exe or some random file you never heard of, you may run it through the program on your desktop. But you know that, number one, there are false positives, and that's when a program picks up a, a, a binary and says, oh, it's a virus when it's not. Or it may be your, your antivirus uh, reports that the binary, the file, is clean when in fact it's not. So what you can do is you can try running that program through a couple of antivirus utilities if you have more than one. But what if you don't have more than one or what if you don't have one at your disposal? That may be the case. Maybe you're at someone's computer that doesn't have any antivirus installed, but you want to check one file or another. Head over to virustotal.com. Virustotal.com. It's a free service. And what you do is you upload that one file, that exe, through to the website. And what it does is it runs it through 32 antivirus programs, again, on the web. So it's uploading it, running it through the antivirus programs on its side, and then giving you the results back. And the cool thing is, is it tells you what antivirus program, the version, and the last time the definitions for that program were updated. Uh, programs like Antivir, Avast, AVG, Bitdefender, ClamAV, Dr. Web, eSafe, FProt, if you remember that one, GData, Icarus, Kapersky, uh, or I'm sorry, Kaspersky. I always mess that one up. McAfee, Microsoft, Nod32, Norman, Panda, Sophus, Sunbelt, Semantic, Oh, it, the list kind of goes on and on. 32 of them in total. So if you didn't want to buy licenses for all those antivirus programs, but you wanted to scan on demand one file or another, send it here. It's really easy to do, virustotal.com. Obviously, this is not on demand. Yeah, that means that, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, it is on demand. It's not running in the background. So it's just a website. So if you wanted to run it on demand, you'd, you'd go there. And what I'm, why I'm saying that is because it's not a program that runs on your computer. It's just a website that you upload a file at a time to. So it's more ad hoc. That's the word or phrase that I was looking for. Now, if you're looking for more information on these types of programs, what's good, what's bad, what's in, what's out, uh, my recommendation for you is two blogs on LockerGnome.com. Uh, one is Blade's blog, and the other one's Cat's blog. And they can each be found at LockerGnome.com slash Blade or LockerGnome.com slash NonStopGeek. And uh, both of them update everybody with all the latest uh, information about you know programs, antivirus programs, anti-spyware programs. They're both uh, very, very, very good 
at tapping into uh, the information that's out there in terms of what flows through the community as well as you know exploits in general. Uh, now this, as I said, it's not a perfect solution, but it's good enough for a quick fix. Or if your program reports something as a virus, we'll run it through here. Is it a false positive or not? Well, if you have more than one antivirus program installed in your computer, well, I think you're crazy because you know the two can might conflict with one another because they may be watching your system at the same time, and that can cause massive instability. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm curious to know what you think is more painful, uh, what's more stupid. The cheese grater or LimeWire or any P2P network need to know your thoughts. And then I want to know which antivirus program that you run. Antivirus, anti-spyware, anti-junk. Uh, just curious to know what you're using on your side of the camera. Because I'm on this side of the camera. And I'm streaming live uh, this video 24 hours a day. Typically talking tech with a handful of geeks in the chat room. And uh, we're found, you know, pretty much all the time sitting here typically talking tech 24 hours a day seven days a week at live.perillo.com we'll see you later